Hey guys, welcome to the new very amazing video. In this video, we will talk how you can install WordPress inside SiteGround. So guys, it is very easy process. What you need to do, you need to follow very simple four steps. So what you need to do, you need to first buy domain. If you already have domain, no problem. Second thing, what you need to do, you need to buy hosting from SiteGround. Third step would be we will connect domain and hosting together. And the fourth step, we will just going to install WordPress inside SiteGround hosting. So it is that simple. So now, guys, I have a one request. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it because we provide lots of make money videos and digital marketing courses. Okay, so please watch the video till end. So see, guys, what you need to do, you need to first buy domain from GoDaddy. So guys, we have already made a video on how you can buy domain from GoDaddy very easily. So guys you simply have to click on card above and I have also put a link in description box with the help of that link you can easily watch that video and buy domain from GoDaddy. Now guys our second step is to buy hosting from SiteGround. So guys you simply need to search my dash link dot in hash SiteGround. So now guys see if you will buy with this link SiteGround will give me commission okay so i will just going to share profits with SiteGround. so if you want to help me you can buy with this link i will put the link in description box as well so guys it's my humble request to please buy from that link i will also get commission okay so just click on enter here you are in a SiteGround hosting website so guys as you want to install wordpress inside SiteGround, so this plan is very good wordpress hosting you simply have to click on get started so now guys here you will see the startup plan go big plan and go geek plan so guys here you have to choose plan according to your requirements and your capabilities see just go with this description and see what plan is suitable for you most if you are very much new and don't want to spend lots of money you can go with the first plan it is also very good if you can spend more you can go with the go big plan so guys whatever hosting you will choose you can see you will get 30 days money back guarantee in every of the hosting okay so it is very amazing thing about this hosting so now guys what you need to do you need to select one plan you want so suppose the first startup plan provides you one website that means you can only create one website if you want to create two or more website you can just go for go big plan it provides unlimited website as you can see the first plan provides 10 gb second plus 20 gb third 40 gb first plan provide 10,000 10, visits monthly that means 10,000 people can monthly visit to your website very easily okay no problem okay so these are the things guys the see and what what plan suitable you most and just select the plan suppose i will go for a get second plan go big plan just click on get plan now guys it will ask you to choose domain so if you already have a domain you can click this option and write the domain name you want i want entrepreneurs.com okay so guys if you also want domain from here you can also buy it but guys what i will suggest always buy domain from godaddy okay because it provides in very cheap if you will buy from here it will charge you extra so that's the reason i always tell my students to buy domain from godaddy okay so after you will do that just click on proceed here you have to write and complete all your information okay so you have to put email put your email address very carefully then set up your password okay now guys this will help you to log in into siteground hosting okay so that's why please put your email and password securely in somewhere so that you won't forget it now guys second is client information select the country where you are city first name last name zip code street address phone number company you don't require to put this text id now put card number expiry card holder name everything payment details and guys here is the hosting plan it will also you can also buy from 24 months 36 months but i would highly suggest to buy for 12 months now guys you don't have to click anywhere and you simply have to check the boxes and you have to click on pay now so guys after you will do that you will pay money to siteground so guys after you will do that 
you will go to the SiteGround hosting. So guys, this is the interface of SiteGround hosting. Okay, so now guys, here you will see one website option. Now guys, here what you need to do, you need to click on new website. Okay, you will also see one option called as new website. You simply have to click here. Now guys, as you have purchased the domain from GoDaddy, so you have to select this option. So now guys, here you have to write the name of your domain which you have purchased from GoDaddy. So write myisantrepreneur.com then then just click on continue so it will again give you this notification then again click on continue click on this skip and create empty site so now guys it will again ask you to add hg site scanner but you don't need to add you simply have to click finish now it will take some time to create your website so now guys as you can see it will give you option like this so now guys what we need to do we need to follow the third step now we have to connect our domain with our hosting so to do that what you need to do you need to go to your godaddy account as you all know if you have watched that video you know how this looks and everything so here you have to click on my product so now guys when you will click on my product you will scroll down and you will going to see all your domains you have purchased from godaddy so you have purchased your domain with the help of that video i have told you to see okay then you will get these domain names so guys whatever domain name you have purchased you will get there a dns option so you simply have to click in dns option so now guys when you will click on dns option you have to scroll down and here you will see one name service option you simply have to click on change so guys here godaddy will give you two options i will use godaddy name servers or i will use my own name servers so what you need to do you need to click on this i will use my own name servers so now guys what you need to do whatever code suppose here you will see this code okay you simply have to copy this code copy it and you simply have to paste it here okay now guys again you have to go to your site ground and again you have to copy the second point just copy it now guys you again have to go to your godaddy and paste that in here i will not do because i have already done it okay so you simply have to copy these two text in this name servers okay easy then you have to click on save so guys it will give you one information like this name server name server update so you simply have to click take here and click on continue so but now guys when you will do that it will take around one minute or it can also take around 24 hours to connect your domain with your hosting properly okay so you don't have to get worried so guys after you will do that what you need to do you have to click here in manage site option so now guys here you will come to the site ground interface so now guys to install wordpress what we need to do we need to simply click here wordpress and simply we have to click on install and manage button so now guys you simply have to select wordpress so now guys here you will get domain so here you have to choose whatever domain you have purchased from godaddy it will show here okay so you simply have to click here now you have to untick it okay? now here you have to put ad admin information so guys it will help you to log in to your wordpress site easily okay all done so now guys you have to also write the email you want done and after that you have to click on install So now guys you can see your wordpress is installed successfully inside siteground so what you need to do if you want to visit to your wordpress website you simply have to click on this login to admin panel button so you will click here so now guys you can see your wordpress is installed in your siteground successfully so now guys you can see here it is showing connection is secure but maybe in your case it will show not secure okay so to secure your website what you need to do you need to go to your uh, security option here you will see ssl option so now guys here you have to select domain whatever domain you have purchased from godaddy you simply have to select that domain so guys when you will select that domain what you need to do you need to select ssl so now guys here you have to select mice already active but here you will see an option called let's skip you have to click here okay then you will do you simply have to click on get okay so it will take some time then it will automatically install to your domain so your website will also show like this panel it will show site is secure or connection is secure or right, guys if it still face problem what you need to do you need to go to here https enforce and guys whatever domain you will see here you simply have to enforce it so suppose you simply have to click on enforce okay 
then it will automatically show plus sign don't worry okay so now guys this was all about today's video where we have taught you how you can install wordpress inside siteground very easily whenever you want to visit again to your siteground hosting panel you have to write my dot siteground dot com so when you will go here you can simply visit to your siteground account again so guys this is all about today's video i also have one more request if you haven't followed us on instagram do follow us we have around 37 000 plus followers you can also follow us on facebook we have around 93 000 followers okay just search bing commerce on instagram or bing commerce on facebook our page will be on top so guys you can also follow us there so guys i will see in the next video thanks for watching